We're here with Demetrius Johnson, the one flyweight Grand Prix finalist. You're one step away from coming the one flyweight Grand Prix champion. How does that feel? You talked about coming to one championship and collecting these titles. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, it feels great. You know, obviously, I got a tough opponent ahead of me against Danny King, Dad. So we're focused on him, but uh, it's, it's going to be a tough fight. And if we get this belt, then we'll get the opportunity to face uh, Adrian Marias for the flyweight world grand, flyweight world grand Prix, the one championship belt. There you go. Got, going up against Danny King, I was on a six-fight win streak. He's defeated similar opponents, Yuya Wakamatsu, Tatsumitsu Wada. Do you think he's the most dangerous opponent that you faced? Uh, in my whole entire career, I, I, uh, he's, a tough, he's a very tough opponent, but I, I face a lot of great uh, competitors in my time. You know, if I look down the list, uh, not just as you know, dangerous, but like skillful-wise, uh, I face a lot of good guys. There are things that Danny King that does oppose. He is uh, reckless when he throws his hands. Um, but other than that, I'm very good about my footwork and uh, not taking the full force of a punch. Yeah. And you've been really critical about your past two performances. You said that you haven't been able to compete to your best abilities. Are you looking to make a statement in this one? I hope so. I mean, obviously, with the uh, the t when it comes to traveling over to Asia, it's, a lot of people don't really take into consideration how hard it is. You know, I've been competing over um, over North America for a very long time, doing five round title title fights. Now we come down to these three round fights. Fifteen minutes is literally nothing. Like that's nothing. So with this, we're catering to the TNT time. So my time zone, uh, my my timing is going to be a little bit different. Training in the morning, competing in the morning. I'm actually looking forward to it. I've been feeling really good over here at uh, training that time. So hopefully they can show when I got to compete Sunday. Now, if you're able to defeat King, uh, you're going to be the one flyweight Grand Prix World Champion. You're automatically the number one contender for the one flyweight title. How do you feel you stack up against the champion, Adriano Marais? I mean, Adriano Marais, he's a beast, man. I mean, he's got a win over uh, Danny King that finished him. Um, and I feel like he is one of the guys who has gotten a lot of uh, love and support from IRC. Like the mixed martial arts community, because I think he hasn't done anything over North America. Um, and that's just the unfortunate thing about mixed martial arts itself. Um, but he's very good, very tall, very big, one, 135er. Um, I think he's like 5'9", great grappling. Uh, but I'm looking forward to facing him. I think I oppose some things that might give him a hard time with my speed, my conditioning. But um, we'll never find out. i got to get past that guy first, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. Now, in the open workout, I saw you were working on the, um, your signature move there. It's called the Mike, Mighty Wiz Bar uh, yeah. Mouse Trap. Are you going to yeah. throw that out there on Sunday? If, if I see the opportunity, I'm definitely going to do it. I've been doing it. You know, I do it in practice all the time with my teammates. And uh, if I see the opportunity, I do it. I never force anything. So, you know, I try to do it against uh, Wada, but he's just too damn tall. You know, when you're 5'3", you're picking a boy like your size 5'9". I, I got to clear six inches just to get you off the ground. Yeah, that's all, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my dad. You're throw me, bro. I'm out of here, bro. Thank you, bro. Uh -huh.